the parotid gland is a salivary gland when i say salivary gland it's a gland which produces saliva and these two glands are present on both sides of the face one of the commonest reasons of swelling in the parotid gland is a benign condition or tumor called pleomorphic adenoma so about 80% of times when there is swelling in the parotid gland it is usually a pleomorphic adenoma and the rest 20% it would be other conditions and maybe even a malignancy or a cancer the treatment of these condition is usually an excision or removal of that particular gland called parotidectomy removal of the parotid tumor would have been very easy unless there is one technical issue and the technical issue is presence of a particular nerve called the facial nerve which goes through the parotid gland and this nerve gives supply to a complete one side of the face so any kind of disturbance to this nerve can cause a facial palsy or facial weakness which can be temporary or which can be permanent typically a uh, incision or a cut to the uh, for a parotidectomy was an incision which starts from in front of the ear goes down all the way to the neck so it's a long cut which is given so that an exposure is there to expose the facial nerve and remove the tumor there have been various modifications of these incisions all around the world one of the modifications have been done by me and in the past 8 to 10 years i have been performing a mini incision parotidectomy a mini incision i would say is about 2.5 cm incision just behind the ear an incision which cannot be seen at all so differences from a, a long incision which can be seen in front of the ear to the neck to a small incision just behind the ear through this small incision we managed to identify the facial nerve and remove the tumor we have performed a large number of cases both of benign adenomas as well as malignancies by this method giving good results to the patient also smaller incisions give a faster and better healing and an early return from the hospital and an early return to your normally day to day life so again the quality of life of the patient is paramount here and if we can perform these procedures with a smaller incisions with a hidden incision it definitely has an impact on the quality of life of the patient